Good morning, Coyotes, and welcome back. Wait, 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 to wait. TV. Roll the intro. Oh, yeah, roll the intro. My bad. Let's try this one more time. Good morning, Coyotes. My name is Tyler Norton. And my name is Andre Inklin. And let's see what's going on around campus this week. Andre, start. Starting things off, ASU and NAU and U of A All will three. be in Miss Larson's class this Wednesday during first through fourth hour and sixth hour as well. We can't leave out sixth no, hour. No, we can't. Come join us on a panel discussion regarding the three universities. FCCLA will be selling Valentine's Grams starting tomorrow. One for one dollar or three for two dollars. And with that, let's turn it over to Kenny with the sports report. Hi Campo, I'm Kenny and I'm your sports reporter. Let's dive right in. For girls interested in Powerpuff, please stop by Miss Downer's room 212 for an informational flyer and a permission slip. These will be due at the informational meeting on February 24th. Who win this year? Seniors or juniors? I think the seniors, but... Congrats to the varsity competition team on placing third at the AIA state champion at the state championship. The cheer program is now preparing to compete at the national level. Please support cheer this Thursday, February 6th at Desert Ridge High School as we showcase as they showcase their routine. Arrive at, at to Desert Ridge at 7 p.m. And the event you, is free to the family and friends. Boys Volleyball will have an open gym Friday at 7 p.m. in the mini gym. Tryouts will begin Monday. Make sure everything is completed and registered by the My Athlete before Monday. There will be an informational tryout meeting on Wednesday, February 5th, after school, which is today, in room 113 for any girls interested in trying out for sand volleyball. The Campo Verde varsity basketball team has an away conference game at Williams Shield this Friday, February 7th, at 7 p.m. And the girls varsity will be at home versus Williamsfield, so make sure you come out and support both of the teams. That's all for me. Make sure your shoes match your outfit, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. And why am I dark? Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> see, before we came back, I said, hey, Andre, I'll be clapping. You to pick it up, right? He said, yep. Uh, no, we said you were going to pick it up. Oh, we said I was picking it up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was not paying attention. There will be a blood drive on February 26th. For more information, please watch this video. The video right now. My dad actually got me into donating blood. There was a donation at my school and my dad did it and now it's sort of become a thing that my entire family does. We go out, we donate blood every eight weeks because it's it's helping others and it's a interesting bonding experience. <laughs> they used to send donation vans to our corporation. That's what got me started. If it wasn't for people donating blood, my son wouldn't be alive today. You don't think about that. You don't think about the problems that other people are having. So when you can come together and like help people, even if you don't know that they need your help, it's really nice feeling to have and it's important. I've been a donor for about four or five years. Uh, for me, it's, it's my way to just give back to the community. I, I just felt that it's the right thing to do. It's, it's, you know, if it's saving lives, it, it, I don't know who it's going to save. I just know that it is saving lives and I know it's doing good. The reality of it is that in a time of a, a tragedy and an emergency situation, it's the blood that's already on the shelves that's going to save lives. It's really important that we work quickly to replenish the supply. Every day we need donors. So it's important that people give on a regular basis. They realize, oh, here's something that's happening to my community. Here's something that I can actually help with. And we could get them to do that all year round. So there's the constant supply of blood to go for everyone and just help everyone. Without blood transfusions, chronically transfused patients, just like my son Nathan, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be alive at all. Without it, my, I would lose my Nathan. It really means a great deal to me, to anybody, and everybody that takes a little bit of time out of their day to donate blood. This is really what it's all about, to make sure that blood's there for that patient. You know, what's this person gonna be able to do with the rest of their lives? Well, my awe moment is seeing that blood come into the room and go into my son's arm and make him feel all better again.
Donation forms are available in the bookstore or in room 215 215. It is highly recommended that you make an appointment now to secure your preferred time slot and take into account for how many doctors will arrive to ensure a timely manner. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. My name is Andre Inclin. My name is Tyler Norton. And hope you guys have a great day. And remember, always to drink water. Always stay hydrated. Take care, you guys. Have a good night.